up guys this is on absolute welcome to my channel today i am at the lake so you guys are gonna um see a little bit um of alaskan wilderness behind me after the video i will definitely give you guys a little tour about what's going on behind me but um guys today i'm going to be doing a tag video from the beautiful Manahil at perfume realm guys she is one of my besties here on youtube and i need you i need you please right now pause this video even if you don't come back to this video i don't care go to her, her video that she did on her most unique fragrances down below go subscribe to her now please do it thank you um she is almost at a thousand subscribers and i she needs to get there and i want to see it for her i love her she deserves it guys if you want um someone to tell you a story about a fragrance if you want to know all the ins and outs about a fragrance manahil does her research guys she does her i don't do my research Y'all know I'm all about how it makes me feel, what it smells like, point blank period. Manahil tells a story. And if you really want to know about the fragrance, go to her page and subscribe to her now. Okay, guys, let's go through my most unique fragrances. Um, <laughs> I brought a basket. Yeah, everyone's like, everyone's looking at me like, what is this girl doing over here at the lake with her um, basket of goodies? Guys, so first is Womanity. This is a love or hate fragrance. Not a safe blind buy at all. If you can find it, I think it's almost discontinued. But the reason why it's on my list is because it's not only is it so polarizing, but there's only four notes in here, and that is fig leaf, fig tree, fig fruit, and caviar. With just those four notes, this really tells a story. It's super crisp and like fresh like br like a brisk like morning crispy crispiness when i say crispy i think of food so i'm trying not to say crispy but just fresh there we go just say fresh okay like leafy green at the beginning and then mushy and sweet from the fig fruit at, at the end i get a coconut coconut coconutty coconutty like smell from the fig some people don't but i do and ah uh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Be careful with this one. Not a safe blind buy. Next, <sighs> Lacoon by Keiko Macheri. Guys, the reason this is super unique to me is because I've never smelled something that borderlines baby powder and still be super duper edible. The powder in this is powdery, 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 powdery. Okay, like you'll smell it. And some people, like my sisters, thought immediately, wow, baby Johnson's. Um, but the almond in here makes this definitely a gourmand and the honey in here makes it sweet. Guys, this is so good. I am where I'm going to be wearing this on Thanksgiving and Christmas and anytime I feel sad, literally if I'm sad and I smell this, it makes me happy. It's super um, addictive and <sighs> I love it. I love it next club de nuit intense guys this is a dupe for a super duper um popular tom ford fragrance i'll put the name below i think it's noir de noir i could be so wrong but the reason i say this is unique is because if you're like me i've been, i'm a year deep into fragrances um and before that i mostly just wore you know fruity florals sometimes light florals or super duper fresh scents this is deep this is dark and this is sexy and this is grown sexy um be careful if you're under i'm i'm 29 if you're under that age be careful with this you might not like it you need to be ready this like smells like if you've been partying all night with some rich people smoking all kinds of cigars okay this is rose vanilla and to me it comes off like a smoky almost cigarette -y kind of smell i've gotten like so used to it that it's like addictive to me and I love it. Yeah. Club de Nuit Intense. Next, this is Oh de Marvies. I said that wrong, most likely. Leave it in the comment section. Tell me how to say it right, please. Teach me something today. Guys, the reason this is unique, um, first of all, it smells like cardamom. It's a, it's a fresh but clean and spicy fragrance. Hopefully that makes sense. If, you'll, if you smell it, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's clean fresh but spicy the cardamom in here is what i love about it um cardamom if you look it up even the smell of it is super addictive so look into that if you can um the reason this is um unique is because they actually turn the notes upside down to where the base notes are actually the top notes and the top notes are the base notes meaning notes that are usually top notes like citruses and stuff are on the bottom 
of the pyramid in this fragrance. I don't know if that really means anything to me because honestly to me this is very linear and it kind of stays the same throughout the fragrance but I thought that was pretty unique and also I haven't smelled anything very similar to this except it's flankers. I really love this fragrance. If you like sweet stuff and that's all you want to stick to this is not for you but if you like fresh spicy try this out. Next another very unique fragrance that has been very popular but I I didn't know of until most recent most more recently and I um I learned it from Jean A. Antoinette and that is a nomad or Chloe's nomad guys this is spicy to me on the opening a lot of people don't say spicy but it is to me spicy but clean like fresh fragrance this to me reminds me of a like an expensive hipster store in california like this just reminds me of mall shopping in california oh i love it it smells so good um yeah it's super unique to me because i haven't smelled anything so spicy but fresh wow i just said this was spicy but fresh and now i'm like this is unique and spicy but fresh i had it better planned out in my head still these are different they're not the same at all this is a different kind of spicy also guys these are unisex both of these are unisex if you're a dude and you're wearing this you smell bomb and i want to smell you so try it out for real try it out it is a um, sage spell of the magic line by victor and rolf guys the reason i haven't smelled anything like this it's super herbaceous and fresh but strong projection on this is over six feet okay and it lasts pretty long time this is also another unisex fragrance actually leaning masculine so if you're a dude and you smell like this i want to smell you too so what's up guys this smells so good i love it it's another unique one that i haven't smelled a lot of freshies like this here is another unique one and that is glow by jlo is a fresh but powdery scent that when she first brought it out there was no other fragrance to really like it and she really changed the game with this fragrance by being um one of the first most popular celebrity scents This just takes me back and if you haven't smelled it, get your nose on it. It's super unique to me. Next, so I learned this fragrance by Amber Chantel. Any YouTuber that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below. So um, definitely subscribe to their channels, guys. Um, they are my friends for a reason. They're great. I love their channels. Anyways, next, Roberto Cavalli, Gemma di Paradiso. This is a fragrance that definitely tells a story. You have to spray her on you and give yourself like 45 minutes with her because she'll take you on a journey. When you first spray her, very pear, just like, just like actually, honestly, kind of just like a regular pear fragrance when you spray her on. And I wasn't really um, amazed with her, but I do like pear, so I was like, oh, cool, this is cool. Not what I thought everybody was talking about, but it's pretty cool. Anyways, no, she tricks you because 20 minutes in, this deep, woody notes come out and just makes it deeper. So pair with this deep woodiness, and then you're like, wow, okay, you kind of smell like a little expensive. You smell a little good now. And then I don't know what note it is. Someone please tell me down below if you know what note it is in um, Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. Whatever that is, this comes out, that, that note comes out very nicely in the dry down in this and Guys, this is beautiful. Actually, so much so that I might declutter my good girl because this is similar in that aspect, but better to me. And I would probably wear this more often than that. So this is another unique fragrance because it definitely took me on a journey that I, guys, I like linear fragrances. I kind of like to know what I'm going to smell like throughout the day. I don't want to guess. I don't want to wait. I'm very impatient that way, but I was patient with her because she's just so beautiful. One more last one. This is very unique to me, and that is Divine Vanille, guys, by Essential Parfum. When you, when, barf, when parfum isn't singular, so it has an S at the end, how do you pronounce that? Can you guys tell me that down below too? Please help me, teach me. Um, this is super unique to me because Okay, let's just say, if this was a candle, I'd want this in my house. It smells like apple, cinnamon, raisin bread to me. On, and on top of a very beautiful vanilla. I love this. It's super unique because I haven't smelled any fragrances quite like this. So that's why it's unique to me. Literally, if this was a candle, it'd be lit in my house all day. 
and this is honestly one of my my top five fall scents so actually look look out for that video maybe coming soon guys if um you don't do anything if if this video if it sucked to you if whatever you felt like dislike comment but please subscribe to my friend Manah Hill who started this tag I love her she's the bomb guys let's get into Alaska huh you guys want to see Alaska wow I got some stuff over here anyways guys those are the mountains that's the lake I hear my dog barking and nobody taking care of her um yeah this is the lake guys um i love you guys thank you guys for stopping by at my channel come back again Asking salmon. this is going on my my channel <laughs> hey. hey everybody say hi I'm showing your mom.